Hey guys, today we're going to look at how to use routing or navigating in a React Native app. I will post the link to the documentation from React Native in the description, but let's just go and dive straight into it here. So right now we have a very simple React Native app. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create two components. One will be our homepage and the other will be our about page. So let's go ahead and first of all do that. So inside our components folder, we're going to create our home component. And I'm also going to create our about component here. So inside the home component, we're going to go ahead and set this up very quickly. And this will say our home page. And let's go ahead and bring in a button here from native base. We don't need the container or the content, so we'll just get rid of that. So we'll just bring in a button. What I can do here is just put a button here. And this button will say go to about page. Okay. And let's just get rid of some of this styling that we don't need. Okay, and let's just create our about component. So we're going to our about. This will become about. And for now, we'll put our about component with a background color of red to make it very clear. And this will have a button is go back to home page. Cool. So we set up two components here, an about component and a home component. What we'll do next is actually bring in the navigator from React Native. So if we come back to our index.ios.js file here, and we will bring in that navigator. So we'll say navigator. And we have to change a few things here. So instead of returning some basic stuff here, like a view in a text, we can return this navigator component. And it has a few prop options, which again, you can explore more in the documentation. For today's purposes, we're going to look at some very basic transitions between scenes. A scene is basically a new page in React Native. So first of all, we have to tell the navigator what is the initial, the initial route. And it's going to be the home page. And when we want to render a new scene, we'll go ahead and we will call a render scene function, which we'll create in a second. So let's go ahead and set up our constructor here. This dot render scene is going to be equal to This dot render scene up by into this. So let's set up this render scene function here. It's going to take the route to go to. And what we're going to do here is let's bring in our two components that we made a moment ago. So we're going to import our home. That's going to come from our components slash home. And we'll do the same for our about component. Okay. So what we can do here is in our render scene function here that we made on line 20, we can say if route.name is equal to homepage. Let's go ahead and render or return our home component. And we need to pass one more prop in here, which comes from the navigator itself, which is called the navigator. So we can pass that down to any component here. We can pass this navigator prop. down to our home component. When we want to go to a new route, I'll show you why we have to pass this prop down in a moment. Else if route.name is going to be equal to the about page, let's go ahead and return our about component. And again, we'll pass this navigator prop. Okay, so right now what's going to happen is 
when we come to our app here, our index.ios.js, this navigator component is going to render, and the initial route is home page. And render a scene, it's going to call this function. So it's going to say, if the route that I am is home page, go ahead and return our home component. As you can see, it's done that just now. So we have a button here that says go to about page. So let's come into our home component. We need to set up a few things here. First of all, we're going to set up our constructor function. And we're going to create a function called navigate. And this function will be called to go to a new route. That point into this. So we'll set up this navigate function. And it's going to take the route to go to. So what we can do here is we can add an on press event here, this button. It's an arrow function. So when someone presses it, we want to go ahead and go this.navigate. And we want to go to the about page. So we'll pass in the about page. So it's going to come up here. And now we can use that navigator prop that we passed from our index.ios.js file here. Navigator. So we can come up here and use, there's a lot of options with this navigator. Again, you can look at the docs for more options, but the two that you use a lot is dot .push and dot .pop. Dot .push is to get to a new route. Dot .pop is to get rid of the current route that you're on. So what we can do here is go this.props.navigator dot .push and the route the name of the route, so we'll call this name so we can use ES6 to match them up. So this.props.navigator.push to the name that we pass in, which in this case will be the about page. So if we go ahead and save that, when this.props.navigator is called, it should call this function again. And if the route.name is about page, we should get our about component. So let's go ahead and try this out. So there you go. Now we're in our about page. So if we want to go back to the home page, let's show you how we do that. So what we can do here is we actually can use another part of the navigator. So instead of setting up the navigate function here, we can just say on press is equal to an arrow function. Go ahead to stop props dot navigator dot pop. So let's try that out. So if we go to our about page, go back. So there you go. So that's how nice and easy it is to get routing set up in React Native. I hope this video helped you, and if you like this video, please go ahead and click subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video.